Hey everybody, this is Rebel Builder and I have a Blacktron set review. This is the Message Intercept base. It came out in 1988, so this is an older set. It is set number 6987. It has 542 parts and came with five Blacktron minifigures. This set was always one of my favorite sets. It looks very large and it only has 542 parts. So it's a great use of making the pieces look larger than they are. Um, and there are some big sections here with these pieces, the transparent uh, dome here. Large pieces, sure, but really it kind of gives the look and the illusion that this is a very large, huge uh, headquarters or base. And you also get a very cool little moon buggy and a uh, cool little spaceship with it too. And there's a lot of movement with this base too. So let's start by looking at this tower on the right here. We have some Technic pieces here and the black and yellow pieces along the bottom. And this is all controlled here with this yellow cone piece. And you can see, you turn this, the whole uh, section here slides back and forth. And as we spin around to the back here, you can see by sliding this module in, what it does is actually connects it to the main section of the base here. As we look inside here, you can see there's a little chair that's on a turntable. So this guy can be up here doing his, uh, his work up here with a cool little uh, control panel there. And some more computer printed tiles here on the inside. And this is called the message intercept base. So you assume that this is you know, spying, uh, doing some reconnaissance, uh, and intercepting, you know, plans from the future on space team. So it's got this really cool, large radar dish here. I love that look. And as we move our way to the main module here, you can see there's a tunnel section or hallway system here. And it's really cool. This section here is on a hinge, so you can lift that up and, you know, position your Blacktron minifigures on the inside. I really like the styling, how they alternated the black and the transparent yellow sections through there. And another look at the back section here, and this is the opposite corner. And this section also has the lid that opens up here. And here we look at the back section of the main module. And really this is like a railing looking on the inside, but note there's this ladder section up here and a little control room up here. And we'll kind of see more of what that runs on the other side. And I always love the color scheme of the Blacktron 1 line. You know, almost all black. I love the transparent yellow. But just the little splashes of yellow, the handles on, the controls here. I love the black and yellow hoses. They didn't overdo it, just enough to break up the black. Now here we're looking at the front of the main module. Really cool black panels on the sides here with the really cool Blacktron symbol there. So what we do is we turn this yellow cone again and we have some Technic pieces happening here. Turning this guy, we've got some gears inside and that opens the section up. We got yellow radar dishes here, um, some cool little laser cannons here and that opens the whole front section up here. And as we look inside, there's some great detail in here. Uh, cool little computer tiles here. We've got some computer panel slopes here. Um, lots of that happening, some over here and in the back too. I like this little detail back here, a little weapon and equipment rack. But the main function of this section here, take our little spaceship here, and this is a landing platform. So it fits right in there. You can see those um, angled pieces here, the little cross hatching going on there. So those hug that ship in tight. You can see the hallway leading to the back here. And as I open these sections up on the other side, you can see that walkway does go all the way through to the other side. The whole base is supported with these strut pieces. And you can see in the back there, there's a couple of larger ones. You know, those are the same pieces as the monorail supports. But this is a very kind of classic space style to have your moon base propped up on these kind of supports. And you notice the detail here on the front with these transparent red radar dishes. Another feature that they don't really do very much anymore are the base plates. You know, they're both 32 by 32. This one is just flat. This side has the molded in moon craters. Here's a look at our scout ship. Again, as common with most sets of this time, 
You know, this is a simple design, yet it has a very cool style to it, a very good use of the parts that were common at the time. And you know, it's not chunky, it's not over-designed, it's you know, simple, kind of elegant actually, I would say. But it's got these wedge plates here, which give it the look of guns, which, you know, this is supposed to be the adversary to the space sets at the time, so that's, um, you know, fits in with that theme. The windshield is this cool, simple piece, and it's on a hinge, just opens up like that. Um, you can see we've got two joysticks, you know, those really cool black and yellow Blacktron ones, and a couple of computer tiles here, uh, like the yellow antennas here on the front for some more cannons. And arrows were a big common theme in classic space. They've got the black and yellow arrow up there. And here's a look at the back here. You can see some engines underneath, but these wings are on hinges too, so they just fold down like that. And here's the little Blacktron moon buggy. I really miss these balloon tires here. Kind of funny, it looks like they have a rocket engine going on in the back there. These railing pieces kind of connect along the sides. Uh, computer tile there, and it looks like a transparent red gun on the front there. We do get five Blacktron minifigures. Now with the Blacktron one line, these were all the same figures. You know, all black pieces, black visor. You can see they came with a yellow smiley face, which kind of <laughs> contradicted the look there. Um, a couple of them came with equipment pieces, the metal detector, and you know, they call this a camera now. To me, that was always some sort of, you know, space cannon. Very cool shot here at the back. You can see the black air tanks, cool shiny black helmets. Now, I admit I get very nostalgic for these kind of sets. You know, with only 542 parts, they did a great job of creating this look of size. You know, and they just don't do that anymore. Everything is very solidly built. You know, this thing is kind of delicate. You can't really thrash it around without parts falling off. But it has a very cool style, a very cool look, and I always appreciated that of the Blacktron sets, but especially some of the other sets at the time, the Futuron and Space Police as well. And to me, the Blacktron 1 line is the best out of the three Blacktron lines. I just really always liked the black and the yellow color. They kept it simple. Um, they didn't overdo it and it's very stylistic, it's very unique, even to this day with all the LEGO sets they've had come out since. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of Blacktron? What do you think of this set? You know, does this kind of take you back or is this kind of a new introduction for you? So let's have a discussion about that down below and thumbs up this video. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm working hard on getting some new videos put up for you and you don't want to miss out. So thanks for the support, everybody. I'll be back soon.